Namaste and welcome. My name is Stephanie and today I have a very short and sweet vinyasa practice. All levels are welcome, no props needed. So if you're ready, find a quiet place, grab your mat and let's begin. So let's begin today's practice seated at the back of the mat. So hips are on the heels. You can take the knees wide or you can keep them together. Just find whatever's comfortable for you. For you. Big toes are touching. Lengthen the spine and on your inhale, sweep the arms high. On your exhale, fold forward, extend the arms long, bringing the forehead down towards the mat. And I invite you to close the eyes Tune in with the breath. Tune in with your center. Deep inhales through the nose. And long exhales through the mouth. Maybe take this opportunity to set an intention for today's practice. Feel the shoulders begin to release. Just let the body surrender. Tuning out the world and just connect with yourself. Notice how you're feeling. Beautiful. On your next inhale, Around through the spine, come up into tabletop position. Wrists beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips. Long spine. As you inhale, drop the belly, arch the spine, look up. As you exhale, round through the spine, tuck the chin towards chest. Really press this mat away from you. Again, inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, round the belly. As you exhale, tuck the back toes, round through the spine, press into the mat, lift the heels, push the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, release the knees back to the mat, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, round the spine, push into the feet, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Two more times. Inhale, release the knees, drop the belly. Exhale, push through the feet, round through the spine, lift the hips, downward facing dog. And one more time, just connect with your own breath here. and then meet me in Downward Facing Dog. Take this opportunity to walk the dog, maybe wag the tail, whatever feels good for you here. You can get into the shoulders, the side body. Alternating the legs. And then when you're good, just find some stillness. Firm through the hands, firm through the toes. Push the heels downward towards Mother Earth. Let the shoulders relax. Connect with the breath. As you inhale, round forward, high plank. On your exhale, push the hips up and back, downward dog. A few more times, inhale, round to high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Choose your variation. Inhale, upward dog or maybe baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. 
Release the heel down towards the glute, stack the hips. Working into the hip. Maybe take a few circles here. Whatever feels good for you. And if you're taking circles, reverse. Beautiful. Extend the leg, three-legged dog. On your exhale, step the foot up on the outside of the right hand. So we're in a lizard position. So staying firm through the back toes, you could also release the knee here, whatever is best for you today. Breathing deeply, breathing into those left hip flexor. You could even rock back and forth. Maybe you want to take it side to side. You could even come down onto the elbows. Your choice. And if you're not already, release this back knee. And as you inhale, circle the arm around, grab onto the back toes. So getting more into the quad, you can let this front knee fall away, maybe coming onto the knife edge of the right foot. And breathing deeply. Just notice the way your body feels today. Notice your mental state. And if anything's bothering you, just let it go on every exhale. Release the back toes, bring the arm back around. Lift the back knee. Take an inhale. On your exhale, just hop this foot between the hands. Raise the right arm, side twist. Look up if comfortable. If not, you can keep your gaze down towards the mat. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, release the body all the way up and bring this right hand to the left thigh. Gaze can be in front, it can be towards the back of the mat. Release the back hand, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, step off the front leg and find your warrior three. Raise the back leg. Arms can be at your side. They could be in a prayer in front of the chest. You could even keep them down on the mat. Inhale. And as you exhale, release the right hand to the mat in front of the foot. Stack the hips. Raise this left hand, half moon. Really connect with yourself as we move through each asana. See how you feel. Another cycle of breath. And as you exhale, release the left foot to the mat. Cartwheel the arms up and out and find your warrior two. Extend through the arms. Checking your posture so you want to be able to see the big toe on the inside of the knee. Inhale, release left palm to thigh, peaceful warrior. Exhale, release right hand to the mat, side angle. Inhale back to peaceful warrior. Maybe you want to tuck this back hand around and grab onto that thigh. Straighten the front leg. Exhale, triangle. Connecting the hand back down towards the mat. Open up through the shoulders. Variations here. You could even have the hand higher up on the leg. 
Maybe you want it down holding onto the big toe. Let this front thigh release. Beautiful. Inhale back to your peaceful triangle. And as you exhale, bend the front knee, place the hands on either side, step back and take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let it go here. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Release the foot, stack the hips. So when we have the hips stacked, we want to keep the shoulders square. Go ahead and take those circles if you choose. Adding some mobility into that hip. Beautiful. Inhale, three-legged dog. On your exhale, come into your plank. Step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Lizard pose. And again, now breathing into the right psoas, the right hip flexor. Let the body release here. You could even take an ujjayi breath throughout this entire practice, where you take an inhale, and as you exhale, you make this ocean sound in the back of the throat. And if your knee's not already on the mat, release the knee. Circle the left arm around and grab onto the right toes. Maybe let this left knee fall away from you. Notice where your body is. Notice this energy that's flowing. Release the back toes, bring the hand around. Extend the right leg. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, just hop this left foot in between the hands. Inhale, side twist, extend the left arm. Beautiful. And on your next exhale, cartwheel the arms up and over, grab onto the right thigh. Inhale. And as you exhale, circle the arms forward. Release off the left knee, raise the right leg, warrior three. Find your strength, your stability here. Really spread the toes wide, ground down through that left foot. Maybe find a drishti point on the floor. Release left hand to mat. Stack the hips, half moon. And again, you can play with these. You can bring the arm behind if you'd like to get deeper into the shoulders. On your next exhale, release the back foot and find your warrior two. So your center of gravity is directly over the hips. Firm through the feet, firm through those thighs. Spine is super long. Inhale, peaceful warrior. 
Release the right hand to the thigh. Exhale, extended side angle. Left palm to mat. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Again, option here to take a half bind. Straighten the left leg on your exhale, triangle. Today's practice is really all about just connecting with the breath, connecting with yourself. Inhale, bend the right knee, warrior two. Cartwheel the arms down and around. Step back into your high plank and flow it out. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Let it go. Each time we come into this downward facing dog, just go a bit deeper. Let the heels sink a bit deeper. Feel your shoulders begin to extend. Inhale, come onto the toes. Hop or step, top of the mat. Halfway lift, extend through the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise the body, circle the arms high. Exhale, hands to heart. Take an inhale, bend the knees, chair pose. So going as low as you can go here, spine is long. Bring the hands to heart. Take a side twist, bringing the right elbow to the left knee. Really pushing through the right elbow as it helps the twist go a bit deeper. On your inhales, think of lengthening the spine. And on your exhales, twist a little bit deeper. One more cycle of breath. And on your next exhale, you're just simply going to lift this right knee and step the foot back and come into a twisted lunge. Release the right palm to the mat. Circle the left foot over, so now we're in a side plank. Options here, you can come down onto the knee. You can keep the feet apart. Just find your variation. Inhale, raise the right leg high. On your next exhale, Release the back foot, find your wild thing, or you can stay in the side plank. Inhale, back to side plank. On your exhale, keeping the knee tucked, come over onto the left hand. Simply transition to the left hand, so your left side plank. Release the left foot to the floor, fall in triangle. Release right hand to mat. Transition back to your right side plank. We're just going to do that one more time. Exhale, left hand to mat. Release the foot. Oh, I'll try and go. Beautiful. And then release both hands to the mat. Tuck the knee in towards chest. Just hold for a breath. Extend the leg. Blow it out, chatter it up, upward dog, and downward facing dog. Hmm. Connect with the breath, connect with the self.
As you inhale, lift the toes, hop or step, top of mats. Inhale, halfway, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise the body, extend the arms. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, bend the knees, rise the arms, chair pose. As you exhale, palms to heart, take a twist to the right. So left elbow to right knee. As you inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, twist. Going as low as you can here. Beautiful. And then on your next inhale, you're going to just step the left foot back so you're coming into a twisted lunge. Firm through the feet. And then when you're ready, release the left palm to the mat. Swing the right foot all the way around and find your side plank on the left. Spread the fingers. Gaze can be towards the mat, or it can be up towards the top hand. Choose your variation. On your next inhale, raise the right leg. You can keep the knee bent. You can even come into a full star where you're holding onto the toe. Inhale. And as you exhale, release the right hand to the mat. Keep this knee tucked toward the chest. Come over to the right side, release the foot, fall in triangle. And again, we're just gonna go through that a couple times. So again, release the left hand, tuck the knee in towards the chest, side plank on the left. Release right hand, side plank on the right. Release the foot, fall in triangle. One more time. Release the left hand, circle around. Release the right hand, fall in triangle. Tuck the knee in towards chest, come down, high plank. Just hold for a breath here. Release the leg, chaturanga, upward dog, and downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, look to the top of the mat, hop or step, bringing the feet to the outsides of the hands. So we're coming down into Malasana. So you can stay right here, or maybe if the body allows, you can bring those sit bones all the way down so they're towards the mat. Take the elbows to the insides of those knees so you can help push the thighs away. Lengthen the spine. Breathe deeply. And I'm gonna give you two variations here. From here, if you're more advanced and you practice crow regularly, go ahead and you can come into your crow. Or maybe you just wanna take some twists. And if you're taking twists, you're just gonna release the left hand to the mat. Just open up the right arm. And then release right arm to mat. Open up left side. released to center. If you're crow, you can hop back into your chaturanga. If you're here with me, you're just going to place the hands on the mat. You can step or hop. 
back to your high plank and then flow it out, chaturanga, upward dog, and downward facing dog. Let it go here, breathe it out. And when you're ready, just come down onto the knees, release the hips over the heels and come back into your child's pose. And I'm going to finish the class here. By all means, if you want to take a Shavasana and you have time, please do. And if you are taking your full shavasana, you can still just listen to me as I finish the class. Again, so you can close your eyes. You can even bring the forearms all the way down to the mat, and maybe you'd like to take the hands and wrap them behind you, holding on to the heels. And let yourself just surrender and breathe. Doing a quick body scan, noticing if you have any tension, and breathe into it. And as you exhale, let it go. Another cycle of breath here. Then you can gently place the hands on the mat and push yourself up to a seated position. Maybe coming down all the way onto the sit bones, maybe an easy pose, whatever's comfortable for you. And then again, you can keep the eyes closed. Let's just take a couple last breaths together. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, hands to heart, Anjali Mudra. Another inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, Anjali Mudra. And last one, inhale, arms high, biggest breath of the day. Exhale, hands to heart. Bowing down to your heart, thank yourself for this beautiful practice, this beautiful, healthy body you have feeling gratitude and compassion for yourself and your life. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice and I look forward to practicing with you again.